Hey, I'm Mark and I'm back with five more a bit hidden, a bit underrated tools in Affinity. So the first one I want to mention today is the QR code tool. If you are in the vector mode and select the shapes, you can see there's a dedicated QR code shape tool. This will allow you to make SVG vector QR codes that you can scale up and down with your links and why it's better than those online editors you got a clean svg qr code here in seconds and it will work forever why is this important there are more and more shady websites that help you to generate qr code and for the first three days it's all right and then instead of leading to your, your website, the QR code will lead to uh, advertisement website first and then to your website. And maybe you already printed out this QR code on your poster, right? It's too late to change. So I always use this one because I know this one is a clean, simple, old fashioned tool. So what you need to do is simply put your link here so you can select what kind of content you got. You got phone number, you got email or simple link or maybe Wi-Fi password you can select from here, then paste the link here, click OK and just draw it like any other shape. Of course, we can change color. And if you want to make a negative one, you can make it white and use another shape like this rounded corner rectangular one, place it behind it. All right. And it's very, very quick when you want to move it to another project. So I will like draw QR code here and then just copy, comment, C, and then go to PowerPoint and paste. And that's it. That's all. And now we got also this option to quickly export to Canva as well. So you can do Canva exports directly to Canva projects. So if you want to do that, you can head to export. Scroll all the way down and there's a Canva design and you can export to your upload folder in Canva. So it will be waiting for you there. All right. So QR code tool, very underrated, giving you clear, simple QR codes that are scalable. All right. Make same. If you've got multiple objects with different shapes, sizes, different rotations, you can just use one click to make them more organized. So let's select all of those shapes. Head to the top to your alignment panel here. And there's a make same. We can make them same with height and rotation. Let's start with rotation. Look, everything is back to a regular rotation. Height and width. And I got now the same size for all of those shape and the proper rotation. That was quick. In addition, as the final touch, we can also use alignments for them. So I can select them and make distribute them evenly like that with alignment. All right. Transparent background. That's very unintuitive affinity because if I select my artboard, I can change the color of it, right? But if I kick out the color, I say I don't want any fill color on this page. Instead of getting this transparency checkerboard, I'm getting the white color again. Out, nope, it's white again. So in order to get a transparency checkerboard, click out, click outside the artboard and search for document setup. And from here you need to turn on transparent backdrop. Click OK. And now by default, you will get a checkerboard transparency instead of white color. Of course, you can put white on those artboard that you need white color on manually. No problem with that, right? Click on the artboard and put the white color in. But this way you can have option to kick out the color completely. And this is super helpful while you're exporting PNGs with transparent background. And talking about exporting, there is export persona here. So if you are coming from Affinity 2, Affinity 
you may assume there's no export persona because by default there will be vector pixel layout and AI if I could remember. That's the default set, right? So where is the export persona? Export persona is simply renamed to slice. That's the red one. So we just need to turn it on and then it's a very similar experience to export persona from previous affinity. So from here you can create slices and you can set up export options for them. This way you can export one artboard as multiple formats with just one click. So I can make slice out of this and then set up this as PNG, as SVG and all of that can be exported with one click. Same as in Affinity version 2. All right, so Expert Persona is here. It's just renamed to Slice. And the last hidden tool is Erase Blending Mode. It's very unusual blending mode. Not all of the graphic programs got it. So when you select a shape here or text or picture, you head to blending modes in your layer panel. This is us telling the program how to blend colors, right? But there is also one extra blending mode at the very bottom called erase. And now this shape is working as something that erasing the shape below. Not the shape above, take a look, there's a shape above. Only erasing the shape below. Click on that. Blending modes, move from normal all the way down to erase. And take a look, it's erasing everything below. It can be really, really nice, quick trick to erase something just using blending modes. All right, so we learn about erase blending mode. Export persona is renamed as slice in version three. You can turn on transparent backdrop from document setup make same this button is hidden in align option and qr code shape tool we can draw qr codes vector qr codes straight in affinity and you can very quickly copy and paste them to different apps on your computer this is part two i already covered five hidden tools two weeks ago so don't forget to watch that video as well Thank you for today and I will see you in the next one. Bye.